Hey everybody, this is Pastor Megan with Travel Faithfully, and I am here in Copenhagen, Denmark, uh, home of the world's most famous transgender Lutheran. And uh, she came to this place in order to do a documentary on Denmark and tourism. So if you follow along with me to some of the different locations in Copenhagen, you can learn more about Christine Jorgensen. So if you haven't ever heard of her, Christine Jorgensen, you can read about her in her autobiography. I just have copies because I'm traveling and I don't want to carry a big heavy book. But Christine was raised uh, Lutheran, uh, an American uh, form of Lutheranism that's one of my favorites. They're called the Happy Danes. My favorite Happy Dane is Joanne Chadwick. If you're a Happy Dane and you're not my favorite, it's maybe because I don't know you yet uh, or I didn't know you were a Happy Dane. But Happy Danes are awesome uh, because they have the best name of all of the Lutheran sects that came to the United, United States. Christine thought this place was very beautiful, but before she could come here, before she could decide to have her gender confirmation surgery, before she could um, be made into the woman that she knew herself to be, even though others knew her as a, a uh, World War II GI, she had to have a spiritual awakening. So one day, Christine was sitting in church, happened to be Presbyterian, not important to this story. Remember, raised Lutheran, dies Lutheran, has a bit of a, a religious crisis in between, but here's in a sermon, the Gospel of Matthew being read. And Jesus came and spoke with them, saying, All power is given to me under heaven and earth. Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. And the, Christine has this, this faith experience with the light coming in the stained glass windows and the dust particles wasping down in the church air. And they hear the, the preacher preaching, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. And she knew she was never alone, that God couldn't abandon her. And no matter what people said about her being trans, God was gonna love her no matter what, through the ends of the earth. Christine then struggled to try to explain her faith experience with those around her. She had really kind of gathered herself with Hollywood types, with people who were interested in consumerism and who were interested in like fashion and beauty and things like that, but weren't necessarily interested in faith. And she didn't know how she was going to explain it to the people she was going to school with as she was enrolled in college. Continuing to talk about her faith, Christine Jorgensen says, The closeness I felt with God had given me strength to search, but it did not give me the answers. Those I must find for myself. So it's only fitting that here in this space you hear the noise of Copenhagen. You hear construction, you hear busyness of people passing by, you see old and new kind of colliding, and hopefully it reminds you that God is with you. God is with you in the choices that you make that fit society's norms. God is with you in the choices that you make that go outside of that and venture into new spaces. God is with you whether you are famous or not, whether you are trans or not, or whether you, like Christine Jorgensen, have to navigate the rest of your life trying to figure out how to live in a public sphere, balancing people's curiosity about your body, about your fame, with a sheer desire to make money, to make art, and to have a happy living. One thing you should know if you're gonna pick up Christine Jorgensen's book, it's, it's as homophobic as the time she was writing it in. There are ways in which trans narratives, particularly trans faith narratives, sometimes have to um, 
step outside a lens of what is the best feminism or outside of a lens of what is the best LGBTness. Um, because there is a way of trying to claim what is going on for our bodies. So don't, if you are able, throw away the intersections of your own life as you change, as you transform. Find ways to honor even those things you haven't yet figured out how to embrace. And remember, everyone, even the most famous transgender Lutheran in all of history, had a hard time loving everyone. And that is, of course, what we pray for every Sunday, that we can learn to love our neighbors better, that we can learn to love ourselves better, and that we can learn to accept the generosity of God's love more and more each day. See you later, everyone. Signing off from Denmark. Love boldly, forgive more boldly still, and remember that I love you no matter what. Take care.